In this one-tailed C-test example, we have the following question. A principal claims the students in his school are above average intelligence. We take a random sample of 30 IQ scores and find a mean score of 112.5. We want to know, is there sufficient evidence to support the principal's claim? The mean population IQ is 100 with a standard deviation of 15. The first step is to write the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis has the notation h sub 0. That's the accepted fact, and we're told that the accepted fact for IQ scores is that the mean is 100. So h sub 0, we would write the mean as mu and it equals 100. The alternate hypothesis is the theory we're testing, the principal's claim. He claims that the mean is greater than 100, so we would write that as mu greater than 100. The first step is to choose an alpha level. The alpha level isn't given in the question, so we're going to use the standard alpha equals 0.05, which is 5%. That alpha level is this tau area here, which means the rest of the normal curve is going to be 95%. That's because the total area under the curve is 100%. What we're interested in is what is this cutoff point here? What separates our 5% alpha level from the rest of the distribution? This cutoff point is a Z critical value, and we can look that up in a Z table. There are several different kinds of Z table, so make sure you're looking at the one that says area to the left of the z-score. We're looking for an area of 95%, and you're going to find that in the center of the z-table. The closest we can find to 95% is here, which falls on the 1.6 row, and it's in between the 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 column, so that's going to be an average of those two, which is 0 0.045, and we add those two numbers together to get 1.645. So we have our z critical value. The last thing we need to do is figure out what is our z score for the sample data. The z score formula is x bar, that's the sample mean, minus mu sub zero, that's the population mean, all over sigma, the standard deviation, divided by the square root of n, which is our sample size. We're told the sample mean is 112.5. We know the population mean is 100. Our standard deviation is 15 and the sample size is 30. If I work this out on a calculator, I get 4.56. That's going to fall above our cutoff point in this area here. And as that's greater than the z-critical value, we can reject the null hypothesis.